But we are uh, winding down on World Card Making Day 2022, sad. I'm um, so great time and I am not seeing myself live. Hopefully I am live and hopefully I am on the right. Oh, there we go. There we go. I see me now. I see me. Okay. All righty. I hope you've had a great time. How many of you give me some uh, hearts and stuff like that that says you watched the Stampin' Up! World Card Making Day event? Because if you did, then you have seen one time, one project already with the stamp set and bundle that I am using today, which is the brand spankin' new Warm Welcome Bundle. Now this bundle, this is a sneak peek. It's an early look for um, demonstrators can get it right now. And y'all will be able to get this. Uh, actually, you were able to get this already. How many of you have it? How many of you have already purchased this set? I hope a bunch of you, because it's kind of fun. And I'm gonna show you one way to make it. Um, but this is a set that will be in the J uh, January to June mini catalog. So that'll be fun. All right. The reason I asked if you had watched the event on Stampin' Up! is that I got to see this stamp set in action for the first time at that event. And great, Jean, that's awesome. That's awesome. And Kathy, you've ordered it too. That is very, very cool. Um, they showed a very cute, uh, card and I got a very good tip and I'm going to show it to you. Now what is fun about this is it was designed to say hey what are all the fun things that could happen when you open your front door? What kinds of things could you see? And um, obviously you can tell it's open house, it's welcome, knowing you feels like coming home, it's for new babies coming home or people who are returning. I don't know, a soldier, a long lost friend, I don't know. And, all, and also to tell you that they're here for you and it's uh, all about supporting you. So my door is always open for you. I kind of played around with it and modified it. I have a friend who just bought a new house and is moving in now. And so I thought this would be a great way to say, hey, happy new home. And that's what I did. But here is the cool thing that I learned and I'm gonna show it to you and I'm gonna hang it out there a little bit. I try not to do things that I haven't done more than once. What they mentioned is that this big stamp, which is the door, okay, the door of the stamp set, is kind of floppy, and it's easy for it to get kind of cattywampus when you put it on, so things aren't right. So here's what they showed me an hour ago, and I decided to try it. So take the die that goes with the door, it's this one right here, and go ahead, well, I cut it out backwards, I guess, cut it out onto a piece of cardstock. And now that's going to be kind of like a, a stencil. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn it so that the stamp is the correct direction. And you're going to stick the stamp inside the die cut hole. Okay. The most important spot are these long edges, like right here. Okay. So you want that edge to be up against the edge of the cardstock cut and this edge, and you can kind of let it stick onto your grid paper if you want. And then, once it's in, we'll make sure, let's make sure it's in, how about that? Right up against that edge. Then you can just pick it up and it wants to be on the, whatever this block is right here. This block is the E block, okay? And it fits the E block kind of perfectly. So, let's do this. And you can just pick it up and you have what turns out to be a nice straight die or stamp. Now, let me show you what we're gonna make with that stamp. We are gonna make a welcome to your new home card and it is a, I think you would call this a faux sidestep because it isn't a real sidestep like Karen Sensikovic showed us, which was so awesome. But this one's a little differently, uh, maybe a little easier, I don't know, you can decide. It's not a very difficult card. So I've got the door, and then this paper and this paper are from the Celebrate Everything um, host DSP, which is great. And you can see I've used it on the back. I love it. And I have a little kitty. This little kitty stamps and cuts with the new die. And then this is a sentiment from the Sweet Songbirds stamp set. I thought that one was appropriate. And then on the inside, I've done a little playing around with our stamps to make Welcome Home. Okay? So... Let's go ahead and get started. And all of this will be on my blog tomorrow and I will come back and post that um, 
that blog link when we get done. So our first job, job one, as it were, is we are going to stamp that that door onto a piece of basic white cardstock. Now I'm going to do my darndest to be inside my 30 minutes so that Amy doesn't gong me off the stage, but I make no promises. All right, so we're just going to stamp that and give that a nice touch. Thanks, Catherine. I totally stole that from the Stampin' Up! designers because I, I didn't know that at all. All right, so there's our door. Now, I am going to go off screen because, like most everyone has stated, mine is the same. My table shakes like crazy. And unless I'm doing a 60-second reel, it will make you sick to your stomach. I can pretty much guarantee that. Uh, let me see if I can click on that to make it so I can see comments better. Oh, good. Oh, good. And Amy has the gong waiting. Well, sure. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut this out, and then I'll be back, and I'm going to show you step two of the cut. Okay, so hang tight. Murmur amongst yourselves. Murmur, 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 murmur. And I know y'all have a die cutting machine, and I'm quite certain you know what to do with it. So I don't feel like I'm cheating you at all here. So here's what you get when you cut this out. Now, there's a second die in the set, this one here, that cuts the opening. And I'm gonna cut that again and I'm gonna save it because this piece is going to become my design here. Okay, so let me be, I'll be right back again. One more time, murmur again, murmuring and murmuring and murmuring and murmuring. All right, I'm almost done, I promise. I'm really getting very close. I'm really getting so close. All right. So here's our door and our other door part, our other door part. Here, let me see if I can put this all back together. Alrighty, put this aside. Now I'm gonna do a little coloring right quick. I've got my um, crumb cake blends, light and dark. And pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the whole door with the, dark, the light. Try to stay sort of inside the lines, but not these lines, I don't care about these lines. These lines are not important. These are unimportant lines. Most lines are actually important, but this these lines are not. The, the lines on the inside. Now see, in horse land, you're getting ready to learn something not card related. I know you're very excited. You better take notes, okay? Take notes, take notes. Thank you, Marilyn, appreciate that. In horse world, or even cow world, or anybody who fences their property world, this outside line right here is fencing, and these lines are cross-fencing. So one would say if this was a pasture, it was fenced and cross-fenced. Yes, I know, you're welcome. In case that's ever the question on who wants to be a millionaire, you're in, man. If you've forgotten, use me as your phone a friend, just saying. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then we're going to take the dark blend and we're going to do our trim, our door trim. Now we're getting a little bit more persnickety about making sure we stay within some lines because this is the trim. This is where you've had somebody stain it a little bit darker. Actually, not really. It's the same color, but we're going to try to make it look like it's a paneled door with our Stampin' Blends. So I'm doing this here. And then I'm gonna do one more little bit where I actually go in and color on the insides with the light again to, to make it look even more dimensionalized. Okay, now we're, we're getting ready to be doing the hard part, okay? And the hard part, there's actually more coloring on this card than there is fun folding. I do like a good fun fold that doesn't take a whole lot of work. And that's what this one is. Looks really cool and people go, ooh, ah, and you just smile quietly to yourself and be like, yeah, I made that. And it was easy, but you don't need to know that. Never ever tell people how easy it is. Well, I mean, you know, you can sometimes if they're a very good friend. There's some things you just don't share, right? Okay. Dimensionalize the new term. Ah, uh, yeah, hello. Sure enough, it is. 
All right, so now I'm gonna come back with my light blend and I'm just coming in like this. And I'm just gonna let that kind of set. And then I'm gonna make it a little less obvious in the middle there, okay? Just like that. Now you could pull out your color lifter, but this is gonna get the job done. When that gets a little bit dry, I'll come back one more time and just lightly go over the top. And you're thinking to yourself, man, that really just took it all away, Mary. Why did you even bother? But it didn't, I promise. If you were able to see this up close and personal, you'd be like, oh, I see it. I see it, yeah. Because this has now got like three layers of light on the outside. Okay, so there's our door. Now, let's make us a little scene. A little scene. We're not going to cause a scene. We're going to make a scene. And I'm going to do that with the flowers, because obviously you bring flowers, right? Hey, Karen. Hi, Joan. Appreciate you guys coming back. Um, and I hope you've had a great day. I hope you've all had a really good time. And did you happen to catch? Those of you who listened, you know there's a big secret that came out. It starts with free, ends with shipping, starts on Tuesday, one day only, just saying. All right, so I am going to stamp this right in the middle of this, because this is going to be the outside, right? This is now the outside. And then I'm going to take a Lond Kitty Cat. And I thought about, instead of putting him in the middle like this, I was thinking about having him, but like, I don't think so, because he, he would look kind of weird. So I'm just going to put him right there in the middle again like that. Okay, so now we're going to color. Thanks, Julie. Appreciate that. I'm glad you've had a good day. Hi, Shelly. I am doing very well. Thank you so much, and I hope the same is true for you. Okay, now I'm going to color the kitty. Now, these folks have a kitty. His name is Kit Kat, and the picture I've seen, the couple of pictures, he's kind of yellow, kind of white. I'm. And this is just a, you know, it's a card. He's a cartoon. So it's gonna be the best I can do. It's gonna be close. This is my dark so saffron, and I'm just kind of coloring parts and leaving some parts white like that. And I'm gonna make him a couple of times and he's gonna be different all three times, I'm pretty sure, but you know, it's the best I can do. Okay, now I have my, um, this is the 900, SU 900. I, I have no idea which one that is, but it's one of them. It's one of the neutral blends that's, you know, skin tone. And so I'm going to color the hand here with this tone. Obviously, you could make it whichever tone suits you best. Does anybody use Stampin' Right markers with blender pen? I don't like the blender pens bleeding through the cardstock. Stampin' Right markers are less expensive. Uh, the nice thing, Darlene, about the blends is that you get the multiple, the gradations, right? But um, I do use... Stamp and write markers, and actually, it's odd that you would mention that because here they come now. I am going to use a few of them to color the cards or the flowers, and I'm going to use uh, Granny Apple Green for the leaves. Sometimes these little ones, I don't really care if I can't shade them, right? Because they're so little, it's like hello. And then I'm going to use the Poppy Parade for a couple of the flowers, these flowers like that, just three or four of each. No particular rhyme or reason. This is one of those flower arrangements that somebody picked on their way to the house out of somebody else's garden, I can tell, because it's kind of random, right? Uh, yeah, mm. Yes, there is an early release suite coming out. It is for demonstrators starting on the 4th, which is a great reason to join right now. Um, and it will be available for customers on the first. And it is called Flower Florets. And it's very beautiful. And we were able to uh, get a good look at the, at the process behind it. And it was pretty cool. Okay, now I have my uh, light Tahitian Tide. And this person right here is wearing Tahitian Tide. It's not quite winter yet. So 
Tahitian Tide is appropriate. Just came from Maui, maybe. And then I'm going to color the newsprint in newsprint color, which in Mary's Land is light gray granite. Sure, it could be. That looks like newspaper, doesn't it? And I'm just giving a little bit of extra, extra around the edges to give it a little oomphy doomphy. And then I'm going to take my light balmy blue and, 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 I'm going to color this background. And I am rather deliberately not going to make it be all smooth. It's going to, I want it to look more, uh, a little bit more organic, even if it is all blue. Obviously, there'd be some ground somewhere, but, you know, it's a card. And I'm not getting too head up if I can't get all inside those flowers. Don't get het. It's very important to never get het when you're making a card because it's supposed to be fun. If you're getting all het and stuff, it's just not that much fun anymore, is it? I don't like hetness. Hetness isn't good. Tetanus is also not good, but there's a vaccine for that. There's no vaccine for hetness. All right, and we'll just get this colored in. Actually, I'm not only not making an effort to make it be neat, I'm making an effort to make it be blotchy. Okay, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, okay. Here we go. Almost done, I promise. I promise you this is the longest portion. Put the gong down, Amy. I'm not taking that much too long. I'll be done quicker than you think. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, one last thing. Sorry, have to. This little guy is not a levitating cat. So I'm just going to take my um, crumb cake Stampin' Right marker and just put in a little bit of ground out here. Now he looks like he's sitting somewhere. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Judy. Appreciate you. Okay. Are you ready? Let's make a card. Now we've got all the parts, I think. We'll see. We'll see if I have all the parts. We don't know. Nobody ever knows that. All right. Poppy Parade is my card base, and you need two pieces of it. This will all be on my blog tomorrow, so worry not. But in case you're interested, it's five and a half by eight. And I'm going to use my score tool. And along the long side, I am going to score at three inches, six inches, and seven inches. Okay. Then the sidestep piece is three inches by six inches, and on the long side, I'm going to score at four and one quarter. And that is all we need our score tool for, so we're going to put it away. Now, on this one, this is going to be a port, it's going to be a landscape, right? So I'm going to fold the first score line as a mountain and give it a nice burnish. This, I love, love, love this fold because, why do I love it? Because look how well, it, how nicely it sits up. It's perfect. It's a perfect display card and it's awesome. Okay, the next one is going to be opposite. So it's a valley. When you're doing fun folds, you do want to take the time to give your, your uh, score lines a good burnish, okay? And then we're going to go opposite one more time. So this is another mountain. And you can see that this, uh, this portion of the card has already begun to come together, right? All right, so now we're going to do a little matting, a little stamping, a little matting and stamping. And I am Team Liquid Glue, as Amy mentioned this morning. Or was it today? Was it still today? It's been a long day. It's been a wonderful long day. Look at this paper. Isn't this gorgeous? I just think this is the coolest cartoonish depiction of fall leaves that I've seen in a long time. I really, really love it. And, of course, it's got Granny Apple Green on the back, one of my favorite, favorite colors. I am matting this and pretty much everything. All the mats will be early espresso today for your ride through this card. So let's just go ahead and adhere both of these. This is this piece here. And then we're going to do it again for the back. And then we have a little tiny strip on the front, all of which are going to be with the, um, the cartoon leaves showing because they're my favorite. You could do whatever you wanted, but this is my card. I know because I'm the one with the glue on her fingers right now. All right, and then we'll adhere this to a little tiny one. 
I'm almost done adhering, I promise. Remember the cool thing about liquid glue. Actually, there's there's two things about liquid glue. One is good and one is bad. The good thing about liquid glue is that a little dab will do you because it spreads out really easy. The bad thing about little liquid glue is that a little dab will do you because it spreads out too easy. So if your little dab, if you get a little carried away with your dabbing, you can have glue all over. Now, I'm gonna keep the white for the inside out because I wanna stamp it before I you know, and make sure it's right. And then I've used um, this granny apple green for the sidestep piece, okay? So you will notice, I don't use a lot of liquid glue, okay? It, you don't need it. It's very, very good adhesive. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Darlene, and thank you. Uh, are you gonna have a PDF? Yes, ma'am. I absolutely will have that on my blog, Tamale. Thanks, Rebecca. I'm glad you're liking it. Okay, now let's see. Now what? Okay, let's make the inside before we get going because on these cards, it is actually easier to put the inside in first before you get all the pieces and parts attached. It's just a little bit easier to deal with. So, there wasn't a stamp that said welcome home. So, I made the stamp. I made it work for me. First off, I took the welcome. And, oh, you know what? Let me close this so I have some shot of it not being all dried up. Oh, Amy, I'm going to go over. You might as well just prepare the gong. All right, we're going to first stamp Welcome in Poppy Parade, my favorite red ever. And I mean maybe ever, even more than perhaps Cherry Cobbler, which I love. Cherry Cobbler for Christmas or Poppy Parade for Christmas. I'm good with either one. Okay, so I've got Welcome. We'll close that, or I will have an Inktastrophe. We were watching Corey and her daughter at the event, and her daughter kept leaving the stamp pad open and, and reaching her arm over it. And you could almost hear across the world the collective gasps as she, as she ran her arm over it. We're all like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. She's going to get her arm in it, but she didn't. Okay, so look here. Can you see that? You can't. Look, I'm going to show you what it is. Uh, actually, I'm not because I don't want to get ink on it and make an error. It says, to my home. All I want is home. So what I'm going to do is ever so carefully with my highly calibrated 29-year-old eye, I'm only going to ink the word home in Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to do it, hopefully you can see this, but I'm going to do it by just barely touching the edge of the stamp of the ink pad. Okay? And if you look, you can tell I have ink on the, on the word home, but none on to my so in theory, what could possibly go wrong? This is where we are grateful for having two sides to the cardstock. Okay, everybody, hold your breath, hold your breath. Here we go. And I'm gonna put it right there. And I'm not gonna rock it. <gasps> it worked, it worked. I'm oh so happy when it works. I'm so happy when it works. Okay, and let's stamp Le Kitty and give him a quick color. Yeah, you can become a gluey mess. I mean, even those of us who, for whom we are like on team liquid glue and use it all the time, we can end up with a gluey, gluey mess. All right, Le Cat goes there. And we'll give him a quick color again with our, not that, with our light so saffron. Actually, this is the dark one, whatever. Whichever one you want will be fine. Actually, if you, you know, if you're really doing this and they have a kitty, try coloring it kind of like their kitty. They also have Australian Shepherds and they are actually Finn's, well, you know, biological parents. We're his adopted parents, they're his biological parents. Okay, and let's see, let's make him non-levitating. It doesn't take much to make him non-levitating, right? Okay, now we can, uh, adhere this and Amy wrote something about the gong I've been gonging for five minutes I know I, I can't hear you la 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 I hear a noise and I do not acknowledge it okay there we go okay so there's our inside now it's just a matter of putting it all together and so let's do that why don't we do that let's put it together here we go this is the inside so we should put it on the inside because that's where it's most appropriate. All right. 
And then we're gonna have one of our cartoon fall leaves on the front. Like so. I love that paper so much. <laughs> okay, and then we have this little panel that goes on the front. Thank you, Barbara. And y'all, if you have a question and I don't see it and somebody doesn't answer, just ask it again. It just means that the comments have scrolled out of sight for me and I can't see them. Okay. Not blowing you off. I just didn't see it. And this is part of why I'm a liquid glue girl. Because I can wiggle it. I can wiggle it. I can wiggle it. Okay, we'll put this on the back and then we're going to create our um, sidestep door. And then we'll put the side step on. All right, and so here's our back. If y'all don't have a rubber eraser, I highly recommend that you get one. And they are, it, the leaf paper is from the Celebrate Everything host set. It's, uh, you can get it with a $180 um, individual or workshop order. And whoever invited you will be happy to help you figure that out, how to get that for yourself. It's beautiful paper. There's lots of it. And, and that's pretty awesome. Okay, now you'll be glad to know I did do a little die cutting ahead of time. I've got the Sweet Songbird Sentiment. And actually, it was a perfect fit for the little rectangle sentiment label in the Warm Welcome dies. So that worked out perfectly. I stamped it in Poppy Parade. And this is, there's two of these little dudes that are so fun they're like plaques so i cut the bigger one out for this card for my uh my sample i used the little one but look at this cute die this is zero to nine all the numbers it's really kind of hard to see them because they're backwards but i promise it's one zero through nine you can cut them out and i actually did with some of the brush metallic cardstock for this one so i made a small plaque out of early espresso and then adhered some uh, six zero because that's their street n number for the people that this is going to, and I adhered it with a little bit of liquid glue. Uh, it's one at one fifty. You start getting Stampin' Rewards, but you need eighteen dollars worth of Stampin' Rewards, so that takes one hundred and eighty. At at one hundred and fifty, you'd have fifteen dollars worth of Stampin' Rewards. At one hundred and eighty, you would have eighteen dollars, which is what you need to purchase this um, pack of paper. And there is Le Cat. And he is cut out already. Okay, now let's ad let's adhere and assemblize. Assemblize. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some foam adhesive strips that I am going to run across the bottom. Like that. And then we'll, oh heck, let's put a little piece right there. And then we're going to run across the side like a shoe. We'll cut another little piece. We kind of want to support that little guy. Give him a little support because, you know, he's kind of he's kind of wobbly. Not going to bib you. Kind of wobbly. I'm not putting any there because it's just really too much to try to get that down there. Okay. And then we'll put some more out here to give him some good support. Don't get too close to the edge because you're gonna have a lit, you may have a little bit of overlap depending on how good a job you do putting him on. So I wouldn't get too close. You can always go back in and put a few more on, not a problem. So we'll pull the covers off of this like so. I don't know why I keep going out of camera, I'm sorry. You'd think I'd never done a video before. My goodness, Mary. Okay, and then let's make it go right side up. We're going to pretty much center it. And really, you do kind of want to keep the um, door on the panel if you, if and you can, like that. And then use your tweezers, which I know everybody has. Uh, I'm not sure if they will or not, to be quite honest. I don't know if they'll let you pay the difference since it's a Stampin' Rewards thing. I'm not sure. Maybe that you can go over 
you'd have to kind of just play it, uh, play around with it. So I'm going to use liquid glue, and I'm just going to slide that right inside there. This is definitely a time for liquid glue, just saying. Put it in, wiggle it so it's centered, and bing, bada boom, you're done with that right there. Okay, now... This was my three by six piece, you remember? I'll go ahead and get that all scored up and folded. And I'm going to put this on with liquid glue. This is plenty, plenty, plenty. Um, good, that's good to know. So really all you have to do is get your 150 and you can pay the difference. Everyone is saying so, I'm assuming it is true. All right, I'm gonna put this on with the liquid glue. Like so. And then we're going to assemble our faux sidestep card. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some liquid glue down here. I'm only gonna go on about the bottom three quarters of the card. And you can put this here, you could put it here, you could put it in the middle, put it wherever you like it. My brain prefers it right here for some reason, don't know why, but it does. So you're just gonna hold it there for a second to let that liquid glue, um, yeah, it, the amount you can go over depends on how much else you've got in your Stampin' Rewards pile. So you'd be, you know, over by um, 3 or $4. So if you, 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 can, you can make it work. Okay, so that's the first part. And now we're going to turn it over. And this is where you can see that I, I borkified this. Note to self, do not be like me. Mm -mm, don't. Don't do like me. I was trying to get all ahead and stuff because I was scared of Amy. She's scary, just saying. And so what I should have done was put this side step on first and then adhered this over the top of that panel. Does that make sense? It should look like this. There should be no extra piece down here. So I borked it, but we're gonna finish it and that'll be just the way it goes. Just gonna put a little bit of liquid glue on that edge like so. Have the card closed and then close the fold down. And that is the same, you just wanna do it without having that panel on first, okay? And so there is your fold. Now we'll go ahead and um, put the sentiment on with some dimensionals. Yes, oopsie indeed. Oopsie, 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 indeed. As I say, there's them who have and them who will. Just some of us have more than others. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna stamp, dimensionalize this sentiment. Let's put it on right side up. And we'll just center it right there. And then I will, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find my little plaque and I am putting it on with liquid glue and I'm not gonna put any numbers because that way I can, um, if I have a need for a card to go to someone for a new home, I can put their street address on it. There we go. But like I said, I just cut them out with uh, from brushed metallic cardstock. This is the darkest of the of the metallic cardstocks, and adhered those little numbers with liquid glue. So easy and also peasy. All right, last thing, we're gonna color one more kitty and adhere them to the back, and we'll be done ski. And I'm only like five minutes over. I'll take that. That's pretty good for me, really. Okay, here we go. And a little bit of coloring to make him look sort of like Kit to Cat. -ta. Thank you, Daryl. Appreciate that. I know. I know. Who hasn't done it? See, that'll teach me to get in a hurry. That will teach me. Thanks, Michelle. Appreciate you. All right, we're just going to use a little liquid glue and put him down here in the Actually, we ought to put them right here. Since that's not very attractive, I'm going to put it right there. Make it look like I meant to do that. Mm-hmm. Totally did. Totally did. All right. And we have a card, an envelope. I'm going to put Le Kitty on it. Because what is it? What do I say? Hashtag no naked envelopes. No naked envelopes. Fortunately, this little kitty is quick takes me longer to close my ink pad back up. 
Better make sure it's dry. You do want to remember that darker colors of ink do take a little extra time to dry, right? So give yourself a second. If they're dry, they won't run with the blends. But if they're not, they're going to run with the blends, which is like running with the bowls, only maybe not as fatal. All right. Make him non-levitational. I mean, cats think they're all that in a bag of chips, but so far I haven't seen any levitate. And then I'm going to put some more of this uh, pretty Celebrate Everything DSP on my flapper. <laughs> Amy, Amy, Amy. Hashtag lazy stamper. My goodness. My goodness. Hashtag no naked envelopes wins. It's cooler. It's way cooler. Okay, this is just a two and a quarter by six inch piece of DSP that I have adhered. And then I'm going to do this incredibly scary fussy cut. Trim. Trim, trim. One thing I will tell you about fussy cutting is you, when you cut, you want to cut back here at the fulcrum of the scissors, not out here at the tip. When you're out here at the tip, you lose a lot of control. But if you push the paper right up to the fulcrum, you can control where your paper is going. And you are, in fact, steering the paper, not the scissors. Does that make sense? I'm not doing this with the scissors. I am instead doing, watch, watch. Here it comes in slow motion. I'm turning the paper, not the scissors. If you didn't see that, you can go back and watch the instant replay. All right, guys, there you go. One each faux sidestep card with the brand spanking new warm welcome uh, stamp set and warm welcome dies. They've started naming the dies the same as the stamp set, so bonus for us. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stand by. We have Akiko bringing up the up the end of the train, and she is going to close us out in a big way in about 23 minutes. So, hope you've had a great time. Thank you so much for spending part of World Card Making Day with us. We'll see ya. Ta.